Hello, I'm Dennis Oxley with Oxley Art Craft and Design. And one of the things that Oxley Art uh, provides is an exhibit service we call Oxley Art Exhibit. And today, I want to show you our new exhibit, the Ed Seeley exhibit, Through Life, Through Faith, at the Old State House Museum. This museum was constructed in 1836, so it's going to be a real treat. It is based on the book by Kelly and Donna Mulholland called True Faith, True Light. Donna and Kelly have been following Ed Steely's career since they first discovered him 20, 25 years ago. He's a farmer in Northwest Arkansas, hog scald Arkansas to be exact. God spoke to Ed Steely when he was 50 years old and told him to build these musical instruments and give them to his children and then God would take care of the rest. This exhibit is based loosely on an exhibit that was presented at the Walton Art Center in Fayetteville. And if you follow me, we'll come in here and take a look at the Ed Steely exhibit. True Faith, True Light, Devotional Art of Ed Steely. And here's Gallery 1. If you come with me, we'll go to the gallery for now. This here is one of the most interesting artifacts in this exhibit to me personally because this is the board, the peg board, where Ed Seeley would boil the wood and use these pegs to mold the wood into the shape of the body of the instrument that he wanted to create. And of course I got a chance to shake the hand of the man that uh, worked this board for, you know, 25, 30 years creating these, these pieces here in this exhibit and his whole 200 plus uh, collection. One of the most challenging things in working at the Old State House Museum's galleries are we have to contend with uh, these historic, uh, you know, original walls of the Old State House that were constructed back in the 1830s. Uh, it's made of plaster, brick, and horsehair. And of course, we can't penetrate it with anything to hang a hex panel or a mural. We have to use, you know, uh, special adhesive tapes that we can make sure do not damage the, these historic walls. And uh, that is 
probably the biggest challenge of putting an exhibit together in the Old State House is being respectful of the flooring, the walls, the ceiling, anything that's original, we cannot damage. The Ed Seeley exhibit was divided into two different phases. Phase one was where we were contracted to come up with a 150 feet or so of picket fence. Here you see Rick Hall, my uh, partner in crime, who is the fabricator for Oxley Art Design Group, uh, working on the patron fence with his assistant, his wife Rinda, and painting it, which I also helped do and then installing it into the uh, gallery in phase two. The second part of phase two was to create eight eight foot square murals of Ed Stigley from 35 millimeter black and white negatives. And that is quite a chore, that's more than I think 14 hundred percent enlargement. The last part of the uh, phase two was to create a texture panel wall to look like barn wood from his workshop. The finish of it wasn't quite where it needed to be, so we decided to do a dry brush technique to make it look even more weathered. Phase two began in July of 2016. These layouts showing the, all four walls of Gallery One show the intricacy of the layout of placing each instrument in a certain distance from each other. Uh, the text panels and labels all have to be measured out exactly so we can plan out the exhibit hall efficiently as possible. One of the first items to tackle the yeah, text panels. Text panels are printed on a cedar paneling that we've used before in other exhibits. Uh, the artwork, produced in Photoshop primarily, indicated a, a routed look in the cedar panels even though it is very flat. It's just an optical illusion but it came out very very well. The x-ray photographs mentioned earlier we turned into a combo x-ray photo and label. One of the most labor-intensive parts of the whole exhibit, of course, are the apparatus used to suspend the instruments from the wall, the uh, guitar hangers, and the bottom brackets that we designed. Of course, each one of these instruments is designed a little differently, so we had to make some alterations along the way to you know, items like the dulcimer and things like that. Anyway, as you can see, we gave the client the option of either having us create a guitar hanger or buy one already manufactured, they opted to use the constructed one because they thought it looked a little bit or a little less modern, if you will. And uh, so that's what we ended up doing. One of the most interesting projects of phase two was creating the display cases and the workbench display cases to make them look rustic. Uh, which is the exact 180 of what typically is done with pieces like this. So we used the inspiration of Ed Steely's workshop, tried to echo that as much as possible, including you know, using some red barn paint on the uh, table to indicate where he might have you know, overbrushed on his uh, instruments as he was painting them. We also applied that rustic look to the pedestal displays. After six months, the last thing that we installed was the plexiglass panels to protect some of the instruments that were close to the barrier. After that time, everybody was getting a little giddy, as you can see here in these pictures, a little horseplay between the curator of the old state house, Joel and Mack and Rick Hall. Here you also see Gail Stevens, the director of exhibits. One of the biggest payoffs of working on this exhibit was opening night of the exhibit where Kelly Mulholland and, and his wife Donna, they played 
uh, some of Ed Seeley's instruments, and Ed Seeley himself got up there and sang, which was pretty incredible. I also got to shake Mr. Seeley's hand, which was an inspiration to me. My wife did as well. And then afterwards, my entourage went down to the exhibit itself and played around on the uh, sample Steely guitar. Great fun had by everybody. Some like movies type stuff. Sure. Oh, Looking at pictures.